In Solidity, a function can revert if the revert function is executed or if some condition inside the requirement statement fails. We can also make a function revert using assembly. The revert function inside assembly takes two inputs, start and length. What this function will do is it will revert the execution and return the data that is stored in memory from start to start plus length. For example, let's create a function. I'll call it test revert and I'll write assembly. To use revert, you'll say revert. And it's gonna take two inputs, memory location where the data to return starts and the length of this data. For this example, we first need to store some data into memory. So let's say mstore to memory location 0x80. Now remember that for mstore, we can only store up to 32 bytes. So let's put in a string that will be less than 32 bytes. For example, let's say error. And then to call the revert, we'll say start memory location 0x80. And from here, 32 bytes 0x20. Okay, let's compile a contract and then try executing this function. Hit Control S and then we'll deploy the contract and then call the function test revert. Check the transaction logs and we see that the transaction failed. However, you'll notice here that we don't see this error message anywhere inside here. For example, if I had another function, I'll call this test revert with error message. And let's say we write regular solidity. So let's say, for example, let's say revert with the error message error. Let's compile the contract again and redeploy this contract. And then call the function test revert with error message. Check the transaction log. And we see over here that this function call failed with the error message error. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use assembly to recreate this revert with the error message so that when we call the function, we'll see this error message inside Remix. Okay, to recreate this revert with an error message error using assembly, we'll need to do several things. We'll need to first know what the function selector of this error string is, and then we'll need to load it into memory. Next, we'll need to load the error message, which will be in string. So inside memory, we'll need to store the offset, length, and the actual message. And once we've done all of that, we'll call the function revert. Okay, so let's start with loading the function selector of this error string. Here is the function selector for air string. We'll be storing this value using mstore, so we first need to make this into 256 bits or 32 bytes. To do that, we'll shift this by 255 minus 31, which is equal to 224. We'll shift it by 224 bits to the left. 255 is the index for the 256 bit, and 31 is the index for the 32nd bit. So what we're doing here is we're shifting this over to the left so that this becomes 256 bits. So let's start with this value and we'll need to shift this left, shift left by 224. And once we shift this over to the left by 224, we have a value that is 32 bytes. And we'll need to store this into memory. Let's first get the location of the free memory. Let p is equal to mload 0x40. And then we'll store this value to the initial free memory. mstore at p shift left 224 and followed by the function selector. What this value will look like after shifting it over to the left by 224 bits is this. We have the function selector and then followed by a bunch of zeros. And this whole value will be 32 bytes. Okay, so we store the function selector. What's next? The next is to store the string offset. The error message that we'll be storing is error, string offset, mstore. We're storing four bytes starting at memory location p. So we can store the string offset after four bytes after this memory location p. Add to p, 0x04. And to here, we'll say that the string offset is 32 bytes, so say 0x20. Okay, next is the string length. Let's count the number of characters in this error message. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. mstore add to p. We skipped 4 bytes and from there we took up 32 bytes which stores the string offset. For the next 32 bytes we will need to skip 4 plus 32. 0x24. 0x20 plus 0x4. And for the length we will store 5. This error message has 5 characters. 
Next, let's actually store the error message. mstore add to p. We'll need to skip another 32 bytes from here, so this will be 0x44 to 0x24. We're adding another 32 bytes, so this will be 0x44. And we'll store the error message error. Now, since we're using mstore here, make sure that the error message inside here is less than or equal to 32 bytes. So for example, you cannot have a something long message like this. It has to be under 32 bytes. Okay, and we're now ready to call the function revert. Revert. Start of the memory location will be P. And what is the length of the memory region that we're gonna be returning? The function selector is four, plus 32, plus 32, and then plus another 32. So this is four plus three times 32. Or we can rewrite this in hexadecimal, 0x, 04, plus 3 times 0x20. 3 times 0x20 is 0x60, and plus 0x40, this is 0x64. Okay, so over here, length of the memory that we're returning is 0x64. Okay, let's try compiling the contract, and then redeploy the contract and then call the function, test revert with error message, open the transaction log, and you can see over here that the call failed with the message error. So in this video, I explained how to use revert inside assembly. And then we looked at another example where we recreated this solidity code using assembly. 